architecture consists of a lot of glass, obviously, and while this is great for the people inside during the day when they have a splendid view, all this becomes useless vertical display real estate overnight, when there is nothing to see outside and the people from the offices are actually gone home. Or when people in a restaurant behind those windows can't see but black outside. And unless you're covering those windows with some shades or some material to project on, you can't actually use it. Or can you? Because there is a solution out there that serves as a projection screen on transparent windows without you asking your employees to shut down the window shades before they leave the office at night. It's called the Invi screen and uh, this is all about it. Hi and welcome from the south of Germany uh, in Umkirch. If you ever bought a screen by Gerriets, it's pretty likely it's been packed and shipped right here at the Gerriets headquarters. Meet Hannes Gerriets, the head of Gerriets, obviously. And his grandfather founded Gerriets in 1945. 46. 46. 46. Just after the war. And since then it's been, well, one of the major brands for every textile that is on stage. Hannes is continuing the family tradition by running a little museum with projectors, lamps and tech that has been abandoned by theatres but is still really interesting to look at. So let's sneak into the factory and have a closer look on the manufacturing process of those screens. I was surprised to see so many people here, but it's a lot of manual work. For example, on these welding machines for the PVCs, there's always two people controlling that the seam is really precise and it goes in one line. Because in a screen at every two meters you have one of those seams and if they are crooked, well, it just wouldn't be as precise. So obviously it needs people to manufacture good materials. It might seem that I'm being paid for this. Gary sent me those samples, but they didn't pay me for this review. If the material sucks, I'll tell you. So let's put on some gloves before we touch the samples that are brought from the headquarters. This is the Invi screen applied to acrylic, just to make it easier to handle. There are four flavors, but as you watch this video, maybe they shortened down the repertoire to only one. Right now, there is a front projection and a rear projection one, and there is high brightness and low brightness. The intensity of your image is influenced by the number of nanoparticles within the film that catch the light from your projection. Most films have a haze, as they call it, between 4 and 9%. So 4 to 9% of the material are particles that either reflect the light of your front projection or in case of a rear projection, glow up and represent the image. 4% doesn't really seem to be that much, so as you can see on white paper, or on this really bad version of a grayscale, there is barely any color cast and it actually doesn't really reduce the transparency of this acrylic. So let's have a look with a projection on it. As you can see in the direct counterlight, this already is pretty bright. To, well, not test, but kind of understand how it works, let's put this piece of acrylic that we attach the Invi screen on in front of a projector that is just underneath a screen. And this screen mimics, well, let's say the view that we have from some rooftop restaurant that we are in. And the windows have been covered with Invi screen. Or maybe your customer wanted some augmented reality. Of course, there is the problem that maybe your viewing angle is not working with the whole marker thing, but you get the point. There are plenty of options to use a window as a projection screen. So while the neighbors are getting disturbingly loud while having a barbecue and getting drunk, and the birds screaming as if they wanted to eat themselves in the nest, This is the perfect opportunity to talk about the perks and the do's and don'ts of the Invi screen. If your projector is pointing directly onto the Invi screen, 
it will cause some uh, reflections, some heavy reflections. And at the same time, people from the other side or people from this side can't really see what's happening. So you will put it somewhere down at an angle. Uh, this will cause the light to bounce off like this. The particles inside the Invi screen are kind of glossy, reflective. So the more haze you have in one of the flavors of the Invi screen, the more reflective the material becomes unexplicably. And uh, if you put your projector at an angle, there is a sweet point between the viewing angle of the people, the reflection from the projector and the angle. So this is uh, pretty tricky to find out. Um, let's see what happens if the sun sets and everything is getting dark. So the sun is setting and uh, we can see some structure on the Invi screen. Curiously, light spill isn't so much of a problem. Can you see this? That's fun. So if you have some light here, on top of it, it doesn't really affect the screen so much. So obviously, if you're in a restaurant and um, using the windows, that's a fascinating fact. Of course, only 5% of the material are haze, which means 5% of this material are particles, nanoparticles that are kind of reflective and they uh, reflect the light towards you and they are illuminated a bit. Well, so obviously they didn't tell me too much about the secrets of this, well, film. <laughs> so maybe let's test some stuff. Obviously, the content is the main part of this game. If you're using high contrast and bright colors, you will achieve great results on this material. At the same time, if you're using very subtle images, like very soft contrasted images, the result isn't that great. Unfortunately for all you holographic projection guys, this is not suitable for the soft contrasts and subtle lighting that you use to have a holographic projection and it's never been made for this. I'm sorry if this isn't the scientific exploration that you expected, but this is a look at the material from somebody who's just working with projections. In my eyes, this material has a lot of potential. I think you can do a lot of things with it, so let me know in the comments what your ideas of a usage are. And if you like tests like this, uh, well, subscribe to this channel, and I'll be seeing you next time.